Hey, what is going on guys? Sergeant Sex Tips, welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different in terms of camera-wise. I actually have the uh, camera on a table that's in the middle of the room. I'm actually sitting for once. I'm not standing while recording. Uh, we're going to try this out. I'm not sure if it's going to be a permanent thing. If you guys like this type of video, please let me know. I'm going to have to figure out the table situation because it does shake. As you can see, even when I'm like doing that. So that's something I got to figure out. I don't know why this table shakes so much. It really shouldn't, but... Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking apart a Dell Inspiron 3793. The model is going to be P35E, and we're going to be installing this fan. So to start, go ahead and flip your laptop around. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Preferably I fix it because it's the best. And then just start taking all the screws out. Uh, now I'm pretty sure all these screws are the same size, so you don't really have to worry about much. And some of these don't actually fully come out, so if they don't come out, don't force them out. Sometimes they'll come out with the the magnetic on the screwdriver if it doesn't it's fine as long as they don't fly out you shouldn't really have too much to worry about take the uh dvd drive screw out and you can slide the dvd drive out now they're gonna have two screws under the dvd drive they're small so they're easy just take them out and put them off to the side so you don't lose them all right so we got our spudgers let's go ahead and get this thing apart make sure the camera's okay i'm still not used to this camera recording setup yet but i'm sure it'll be fine so all you want to do is Go ahead and take your spudger and get under. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do this at this angle because I can't actually see what you guys are seeing. And I want to make sure you guys are seeing what you can see. So you're just going to put the spudger in and then pull up until you hear a click, just like that. Make sure it's a little loose, and then you can do that on the other side. Take your spudger. Uh, if you don't have a spudger, you can use a metal tool. Just be aware that you're probably going to scratch plastic. Uh, so grab your spudger. Let's do it from this point of view. Spudger, push in, pull out, and then all you should be able to do is just kind of wiggle it like the camera is. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing just because it's a little more difficult than I was hoping. However, all you got to do is pull up and then you're in. Move the side panel off to the, well, the bottom panel off to the side. Uh, what we're going to be replacing is the draw the uh the sorry the cpu fan you can replace the ram in here this actually has an upgradable option this also does support an m.2 so if you're only in here to replace the ram you can uh, save up for an m.2 throw an m.2 in speed up your little your uh, machine a little bit more uh this will also allow you to put a second hard drive in or you could keep the solid state you have and have spare storage and have the m.2 as your boot drive so it's fast plus fast fast storage so right here is the uh, fan uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the old fan first. And what I like to do is leave it in the package. That way I don't get them mixed up. So go ahead and remove this. Uh, all you got to do is remove the fan. You don't have to remove the heat sink. If you want, you can replace the thermal paste while you're in here. But I'm not going to do that because I don't think it's needed. The temps are okay. It's just the fan is not happy. It's making some noises. So just go ahead and remove all the screws for the fan. Once you get all the screws out, you can go ahead and put those off to the side. Pull the CPU fan uh, plug out. I can't remember the name of it. The header whatever you want to call it, CPU fan connection, and then pull the CPU fan, or sorry, I think this is the video. This is probably the video to the display since it's a laptop. Uh, you can just undo that from here, and then you can put this off to the side. You can usually check um, if you're in here already and you're replacing something. Grab your fan. You don't have to take it out. Just do this. If you hear a squeak, it's probably dying, and if the if it feels rumbly, like if you put your hand on it after you do it and it feels like it's going like this, the fan's probably time to replace as the bearing is being worn out. So we got the new one, much better, much quieter. This one was much more noisy too when it was in there. And this will also be nice because it's it's going to be brand new fans, so they don't have to worry about anything. So to put it in, you just got to basically reverse the process. Make sure you rewire the display cable. And that way uh, it stays wired and doesn't get pinched between anything and possibly frayed. This is plastic, so it can't really hurt it that much. And then you can go ahead and align the fan with the cpu or sorry the uh screw holes uh, if you want you can plug in the fan while you're before you screw it in i usually do that all you got to do now is screw in the cpu fan make sure to push down and i always do the front left then to the right or you can do front right to left it doesn't really matter as long as it's you know in there and not going to go anywhere it's not a heat sink or anything so you don't really have to worry too much about it all right, so now we can go ahead and get the laptop back together. So all you have to do is basically repeat the steps of taking it apart, pushing the uh, bottom panel on, make sure all the I.O. is lined up, such as Type-C, HDMI, USB, all that fun stuff. 
USB usually lines up pretty easy. It's the Type-C that don't, but this does not have Type-C, so it doesn't matter. Go ahead and just go around, press down, that way it does that. God, the shaking is so annoying. And then you can go ahead and start re-screwing the laptop back together. As you're screwing it in, it's going to make clicks. Don't be alarmed. It's normal. It's just because the clips are clipping back in as the screws pull the system together, essentially, just like that. I don't over screw these because you can start screwing it into the chassis, which will leave kind of like a bump, or you can strip the screw, which would be bad. So just try to be weary when you're screwing the laptop back together so you don't mess it up any further. And then once you get all the screws in, you can go ahead and slide the disk drive in. You can do this before, but make sure you put the screws in if there is any under the disk drive. Slide that back in. Then grab the screw and screw it back in. And that is it for screws. There's some missing. I think there's one missing here and here, but that's fine. The laptop's being held together mostly, and it's all around. It's Some of the middle ones are missing, but that's okay. So you can go ahead and flip her around, and you can open her up, and then test whatever you installed. Uh, you might want to go around the chassis and just make sure everything's clipped in. You might notice that it didn't clip in properly. But for the most part, it should be fine. This thing's got a dead battery. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you guys did not enjoy the video, please drop a dislike. This is how you tear down a Dell Inspiron 17, by the way, 3793. So let me know what you guys want to see for future videos. Uh, if you guys want to see more teardowns like this in this specific area, let me know. I can figure out a way to make it so the camera stops shaking because it is quite annoying. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and peace out.